Whether it is our response to COVID-19 or the threat of climate change or the need to mitigate inequality through uplifting those who are underrepresented, our political culture has become so polarized in 2021. A major impediment to that we must overcome if we are to stop fighting amongst ourselves is to better understand why certain pernicious myths have become lodged in the minds of millions of people. Keep watching and I'll explain how these false stories have been appropriated by elites in order to subvert calls for equality. My name is Bhavan and in this episode of Books in 5, we review We Need New Stories by Nezreen Malik. We trust Nezreen because she is an award-winning columnist and feature writer for The Guardian. This book uncovers how those in positions of wealth and influence use popular myths to ensure their power is maintained and why this continued use of untruths is harmful to democratic societies. The author considers six specific stories that pose existential threats to our freedoms, both in the present day and on the horizon. In order to build a better world for the future, we must confront and expose the way in which history, gender, race, and liberal values are leveraged to maintain the current hierarchy. The first myth revolves around the fundamentally unreliable nature of the elites in our media, which consists of a small class of people in academia, publishing, and journalism, who we believe to be neutral and unbiased. Using the example of the lies, false claims, and overall incompetence surrounding the invasion of Iraq by America and Great Britain, the author describes how the media did not hold the power structure to account. The second myth relates to the idea that a cultural revolt has been triggered because of rising political correctness, which has created a protected class of religions, cultures, and orientations that is being pushed down the throats of normal citizens. There is a perception held by millions that politically correct norms have taken hold and are depriving people of their freedom. The book outlines how this false sense of injustice blinds us to the reality of crimes against minorities, which continues to increase. Extending from the second, the third myth is the supposed assault on free speech by a liberal totalitarianism that attempts to cancel and deplatform those who only wish to speak their minds. Rather than enjoying their right to free expression, the author reveals how these free speech warriors really desire freedom from the consequences of that expression, whether censorship or legal penalty. The fourth myth arises from the notion that America has overcome its deep history of racism and violence against non-white people, and that identity politics is harmful to the nation. While movements based on equal treatment are condemned and deemed offensive, the book exposes how hostile actions orchestrated by white people, both as supposed lone wolves and as militant groups, are overlooked. Our political discourse does not allow us to view white people as motivated by identity. The fifth myth is the ongoing whitewashing of history to suggest that colonialism, slavery, and violence were not present at the foundations of building the modern nation state. The author chronicles how the past is rewritten to allow citizens in the present day to believe that they are special because the founding of America, Britain, and other European countries was based on noble origins. The sixth myth focuses on our collective belief in Western countries that we have achieved perfect gender equality and that current activism and hope for more is simply women being greedy. The book illustrates how men, who benefit from our system of patriarchy, resort to arguments of biology or the comparative claim that women in America and Europe have it much better off compared to women in the past or women throughout the rest of the world in our present day. The book concludes with an explanation of why our adherence to these six myths is hindering our ability to thrive as humans. Whether it is through monetary costs of counterterrorism that is wasted on hunting Islamic threats, when it is white nationalists that are the largest risks to national security, or the misery and violence that is directed against women, these six myths are harmful to the majority of us and only serve to keep elites in power. I highly recommend reading this book to learn more on why we must make it our business to combat all of these convincing and powerful myths that are only used to keep this unequal hierarchy in place.